Okay, now it's over to Chef Mark, who is with author and cook Bridget Davis to explain what a shakshuka is. Is that how you say it? Yeah, pretty close there, Mike. Okay, cool. <laughs> cool. A fantastic job. How do you say it? Shakshuka. Shakshuka. Yes. Okay, cool. I was yeah. having a bit of a but laugh pretty at the close. start there, but yeah, got there in the end. Um, okay, cool. So this is uh, originally from where? So North Africa, this particular okay. dish. Is coming from Tunisia. Okay, nice. Yeah. Nice. Okay, mm. sweet. And Mark, are you ready for the challenge? I am ready, yeah. Yeah, it's got all my favourite ingredients, mm. you know. We've got eggs in there, we've got a little bit of chilli, garlic, yeah. you know, it's great. You know, something a bit different for our breakfast. Mm. I'm excited. Uh, yeah, I'm excited too, and I'm curious to find out more about your book. Are you basically say that you've gone around the world and had breakfasts in all these different places? Would that impress you if yeah. I did? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, <laughs> That's exactly okay, what I did. Good, yes. good. Um, and hopefully this recipe too, everyone's going to give it a go at home, okay? So if you want to learn how to do it, we'll get stuck into it very soon. Great to have you with us. We are here in the Beko Kitchen, and we're joined by Bridget Davis to show us how to make a shakshuka, which is, I said earlier Moroccan, but it's mm -hmm. actually Tunisian, That's isn't it? That's correct. But you're still in the right part of the world, so it's okay, North good. Africa. Oh, nice. Yeah. Okay, and you've got this brilliant book out called Breakfast Around, around the, world. the World. 50 recipes from all around the world. Oh, nice. Yes. What was your favourite place? Oh, you already stole my line saying before in the interview about you can't just name one place. Right. It's like naming your favourite child. That's right. Okay, But cool. I do have a favourite child if you are watching. <laughs> <laughs> the cat. It's the cat. Well, look, Mark's well and truly into oh, it. I'm going, going well, on. no one else is going to do anything. <laughs> <laughs> right, I'm so what do we need to do to start yes. first? So first thing is we've got our pan on. And yes. Heating up. Just be careful with the pan. Okay, the cool. It's really hot. We've got our lovely pan on. And we're using a cast iron pan as well, so it's nice and heavy. Because what we're essentially creating with this dish is we're doing a tomato stew. Yum. And then okay. we're going to take that wonderfully ar aromatic tomato stew by onions and garlic, and we're going to fry it in the pan. Yes. And we're going to poach eggs inside Ooh, of it. So perfect breakfast. Yeah, this is Yeah, all fantastic. in one pan too. And okay. that's what we love as well. We love one pot wonders. Yeah, we one do pot here. wonders. It keeps, it keeps yeah. the washing up down. Oh, yes. And, and it just keeps all the flavour in there as well. Yes, exactly. And uh, well, you know, tell us a bit more about your, about your history, because I know that you've worked in some top yeah. restaurants in Auckland, but you know you reside in Sydney, but you're yeah. a Kiwi. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Kiwi. I still support the All Blacks. Yeah, there till we I go. Till I die, till I die. <laughs> Literally, till I die. No, I've been in, um, living in Sydney now for 12 years. Okay, and cool. And the main reason I went to Sydney, very good, yes, a little bit of oil in there. Thank you. The main reason I went to Sydney is I, um, I went there to take over position running a very busy breakfast ah, restaurant nice. by a very famous chef. Yes. His name's Bill Granger. Nice. And I was his head chef wow. for a couple of years. So I left Auckland, the lovely, lovely restaurants in Auckland, which yeah. we've already had a bit of a discussion about, yeah, yeah, we? yeah. And went to Sydney and um and was supposed to go for two years. Wow. Twelve years later. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be back though. It's all right. No, I'm pleased you come back to spend yeah. some time with us. So mix this up. You want Please, me to mix it? Yes. I'm good at mixing, Bridget. Absolutely. So we just want to give a bit of a saute here. We don't want yep. to give too much colour. We're allowing the onions to begin to reduce. So we're getting some flavours coming out of that as well. We're, all the flavours are, are concentrating. We've got a capsicum going over here. I, I don't even know why. I, I could just sit down, have a coffee. <laughs> yeah, you could. Go join the guys over there and let you guys get this one. It's brilliant. I love this. This is the best time I've ever had in the kitchen. You would have seen a huge change. I guess over those years when creating breakfast has have people's tastes changed over the yeah, years and I think the reason it has changed is because we travel so much more now right. travels become so accessible it's, it's a lot cheaper to do than it was say 20 30 years ago so now we go to places and we can experience a shakshuka when we go to Tunisia because we can go to North Africa that's right that's not too hard so I think definitely we still like eggs though yes eggs so that's why I've got eggs bread. in this <laughs> yeah, lovely <laughs> wonderful job look at that oh thanks chef I think this is brilliant I've never yeah. actually had two men cooking on the side. That's <laughs> feeling pretty special right about now. Now that's looking really good. I think, you know, we're, we're very close to being able to add in very soon our spices as well. Okay. Yeah, spices. Today we are using um, cumin. It's ground cumin, which by the way is one of my favourite spices. Okay. Love that. Why, why so is it your favourite? There's something about the flavour right. in there. I can't quite put my finger on it, but I pretty much use that in almost every... Apart from desserts, yes, <laughs> I use that in everything I do. So we've nice. got some um, paprika. Paprika is lovely and smoky, so that's going to add. Oh, did you get that hint? Mm. Oh, yeah. yeah. As soon as that the, yes. yeah. One of the best Beautiful. things about about putting mm. spices into a hot pan is they begin to bloom, and all those lovely yes. flavours come out. So we're going to go tomato paste next. Give that a bit of a mix in. What do you love about food and cooking, Bridget? <sighs> everything. The the ability to take something raw create something delicious and then to feed people. Nice. Yeah, nice. so I think that's probably my favourite thing and, and that's why I've been cooking for nearly 30 years. 
I know I don't look that old. No, I know no, you're going to no. say it's exactly yeah, what you're going to say. say yes, yeah, so that's right. <laughs> Why are you laughing, man? No. Ah! no, I've been cooking for nearly 30 years, and wow. I don't think I'll ever stop. So she started when she was two. Mm. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and what's that? Tomatoes. Yes, yep. canned right. tomatoes. No, we it, don't. Yes, canned tomatoes are important because tomatoes really, not in season. At that's right, and really affordable canned <laughs> tomatoes. You get organic yeah, canned tomatoes yeah. for a couple of bucks. Yeah. Okay, good. We'll tell you what. We'll keep brewing up. This here it smells incredible, and we'll come back and show you how to make the rest of this Tunisian breakfast. That's straight after we catch up with Holly. We need to be cooking off some eggs to finish off Bridget's shakshuka, which can I just say, Bridget, is smelling mm. incredible. It's all you. And it's I, all you. <laughs> well, I, it's the guidance I'm getting, I think. <laughs> and it's nice and quick too for a breakfast. That's what you want. That's what we want. Sometimes nice. we don't have time, sometimes we do have That's time. right. Yes. Okay, what are we doing now? Oh. Pop the eggs in, Mike. Well, no, I don't want to do that. Yes. I'll it up. Okay, you take me through it, Bridget. How do okay, we do it? Okay, we're going to crack them. I know okay, it's, cool. it's very... Would you like me to... Do we do a little hole or do we just oh, put them in there? Actually, you are correct. <laughs> okay, good. See, you've done this before. So we're just going to make little indentations. So just like... Yep, just like that. Like we want that? those eggs to poach. Okay, cool. Yep. So Ooh, you do gosh. that. You do the crack. I'll make another indent. Oh, look at that. Okay, oh, that's that pretty him. amazing. Yeah. Wonderful. And how know. many of these shell in it? Oh, I got oh, some shell. Oh, oh. Do you know? Oh, no, you could do it that way. Yeah, there you go. Yes, you that's if you don't fast. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So we'd normally, in this sort of pot, I'd normally do maybe five to six eggs. Oh, nice. Yeah. yeah. And this is a great, uh, it's a great dish, isn't it? You can, Maybe you one know, you can put it all in one dish, yeah. um, mm. cook it, and then put it in the centre of the table, and it, you know, it feed, that is the feed a family of perfect. like four, four, five, six, even. Yep. You know, that the is the perfect way to do it, actually. Because why would you want to break up this majesty that we have going on here? Exactly. Just put it on the table, and we nice. need bread. But that's it. We're going to leave those to poach, but we do need a little bit of salt and pepper. Okay, and cool. I hear that that's your official well, job. Well, <laughs> salt and pepper. I don't want to get in the way. I don't want to stand on anyone's toes. <laughs> Who would be the most adventurous country in the world when it comes to breakfast? Because I guess New Zealanders have changed over the years. We never used to eat as many eggs as we used to. Really? We used to just eat oh, porridge and toast. Oh, yes. No, that's but we've true. come a long yep. way. So, yep. you know, looking at the recipes in your book, what country do you think is the most adventurous? Oh, that's a really good question. But I think I'd have to say it would have to go into Asia. Okay. And I find that uh, a lot of the Chinese... Uh, breakfast, very adventurous in the types of ingredients that they use. Mm, okay, I nice. mean, I've got a, I've got a um, chicken congee as yes. part of my dish, but they really do eat as much mm. as they can and whatever they can, which yeah, is wonderful. Like stir fries and noodles and yeah. like, like a full-on meal. Full-on like, meal for breakfast. Yeah. Nice. Okay, cool. So we're going to do the bread that way. Yes. It's a nice fancy way. And, um, <laughs> and how long are we going to leave this for? We're going to yeah. until the ready. I mean, we could put a lid on it if yeah. we wanted to. If we wanted to speed up the process um, even more, but I'm quite happy for it to tick away there. We're probably looking at about five minutes for those to just get cooked. But that depends, Mike, how you like your eggs right. done. If you like them rock hard, yes. A bit we longer. can't be friends. Okay. Yeah, that's it. I'm leaving. If you like hard eggs, yeah. I'm leaving. No, it I, depends how you like your eggs done. Oh, yeah, no, yeah. Well, I'm, yeah, a little runny, but not too runny. Okay, the other thing I wanted to know is in your cookbook, what other dishes are we going to find? Oh, so I go to 50 countries. Yes. And I go right from the top of the world, yeah. right down to the bottom of the world as well. But in saying that, I also spend lots of time on, on the sides. But Probably my favourite country that, I, that, that I've visited, and this is going to sound a bit strange, is for food-wise, it was Hawaii. The food in Hawaii, if you know where to go, yes. you go off the beaten path, and the beaten path is usually Waikiki or the tourist spots, just go outside where the locals eat, you can get some amazing food. And what sort of dishes for breakfast? Uh, well, they do, <laughs> they do a dish called a loko moko, okay. which is literally you take white rice, and then you top that white rice with a hamburger patty. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and then you put gravy and a... Fried egg. Oh, brilliant. And so like breakfast. <laughs> I love it. Lunch or dinner, but it's pretty good. Okay, well, we're going to get inspired. Your cookbook is out now. And, Yay. of course, if you need more information, you can just go to Bridget's Kitchen on Facebook, okay? Yep. Breakfast from around the world. The book is out now. Thank you so much, Bridget. You're it was welcome. fun. We'll see the finished Thanks, result Jess. towards the end of the show. It is time to try Bridget Shakshuka from her new book, Breakfast Around the World. Are you happy with it, Bridget? Exceptionally happy. It's, it's all the mixing. Oh, you good. Yeah, no, it smells incredible. Uh, Mark, what are you going to be doing tomorrow? Well, tomorrow I'm going to do stir-fried black bean squid. Ooh. Ooh.